Hey everybody, my name is Taylor Glenn and this is my channel Taylor Tries, where I teach you everything about juggling. Welcome. Today I'm going to teach you a very simple beginner juggling trick known as the claw catch. A claw catch can be done as a one-off trick or incorporated into a pattern. I'll be covering how to do both of those in this tutorial as well as steps to get there and common problems you might encounter along the way. I want to take a quick moment and just thank everyone who supports me over on Patreon. Really, these tutorials are free for everyone because of your support. So thank you so much. If you want to join and support this channel, you can do that. There is a link in the description. It's only two bucks a month. So what is a claw catch? A claw catch is a type of catch where instead of catching the ball palm up, you're going to actually turn your palm over and swipe at the ball coming down on it. So it ends up looking like a claw. That's all a claw catch is. It's just a different way to catch the ball. A lot of the time when jugglers talk about claw catches, they're not only referring to the claw catch. They also often will do a claw throw. A claw throw is a type of throw done with that claw shape. We are gonna cover both of those, but first let's just talk about how to do a claw catch. The most important part of doing a claw catch is obviously having your hand turned over. Then as you're throwing the ball, you're going to claw, lift the arm up with the forearm, and you might put your wrist back a little bit to get even more momentum for the catch. Then when you look at the ball that you're going to claw, as it peaks and starts to come back down, you're gonna bring your arm and hand down onto the ball. Different jugglers will catch the ball in different spots. Usually for me, that contact is made around a 45 degree angle. Just as our hand was following it before the catch, we want to continue to follow that momentum after the catch. Usually when I see jugglers mess up claw catches, it's because they're not following through with the ball. So they'll just try to stop the momentum and it'll fall out of their hands. So let's give that a try. We're just gonna throw a normal throw, just like you would do in the cascade. As we throw it, we're gonna lift our arm up, look at the ball, and as it comes down, swipe it down, making sure you flare open those fingers and grab it tightly. And for this exercise, after you catch the ball, turn your hand over as you bring your hand down, and then continue to throw a regular cascade throw. So just practice that back and forth. All right, great. Hopefully you didn't find that too difficult. It will get better with time, but for the most part, it's not too hard, right? So now let's do a claw catch in the cascade. All we're going to do is a regular cascade, and then at some point, you're just going to turn your hand over and do a claw catch. It's pretty simple. To start, I recommend doing this with your dominant hand. So you're just gonna pay attention to a throw from your non-dominant hand, watch it peak, throw the ball that is in your dominant hand, and then turn your hand over and do that claw catch. Sometimes it can be hard just to figure out which ball you're going to claw catch. If that's the case, I highly recommend getting a different color ball and do that claw catch. That is a great way to practice that claw catch with your dominant hand, and it can make it a lot easier with the color just to know exactly which one you're trying to claw. And of course, you can practice it with your non-dominant hand. So that's that. You just throw in claw catches into your cascade. It can be a one-off trick where you just do it and then go back to a cascade, or you can do it in a more intentional pattern, like in a tennis style. So you're clawing every three throws. Play around with it. If you're having a really hard time with this, you can always do a two ball exercise where you start with your non-dominant hand and claw that ball. So up, up, catch. Often when I see people struggle with the claw catch going back to a cascade, it's because they have a really hard time transitioning from a claw catch down to a regular throw. To fix that, you can go back and try that two ball exercise that I talked about, or you can incorporate a claw throw, which for many people is actually easier. For the most part, people don't talk about claw throws. It's just kind of implied with claw catches. Either way, it's really fun to learn, so let's go over that. A claw throw is pretty basic. It's kind of the opposite of a claw catch. In a claw catch, we brought our hand up with our arm and came down and caught on the ball. With a claw throw, we're going to continue that motion down, just like we did before, but instead of turning our hand over, we're just gonna keep it in that claw position. Then you're gonna reverse the motion. Bring your arm and hand back up, and when it gets to a certain point, let go of the ball. So, Try to do a claw catch, followed by a claw throw.
catch down bro. You can work on just one hand, then you can do the other hand. Then you can try to do claw catches and claw throws with both hands. Especially pay attention to where you're letting go of the throw. If the ball is sort of flopping away from you, it's because you probably let go too soon. Try to hold on to it longer than you think. Let go of it a little higher. Awesome. Let's try two balls. With two balls, a great exercise is just like when you learned the cascade. You're going to go throw, throw, catch, catch. But we're going to do them all in claws. Throw, throw, catch, catch. This can feel pretty hard, so don't be afraid to spend a lot of time on it. Try to start with both hands so you get experience working both sides. All right, with three, let's do it. If you feel really confident, you can simply go into just doing all claw catches and all claw throws with the cascade. Usually it takes a little longer to get to that point. So a great in-between step that I love to teach is just claw catching and claw throwing one side. Ideally your dominant hand to start. So I recommend starting with a normal cascade, no claw catches or claw throws, and then start the pattern. It's what we would call a warm start. So start your cascade, regular throws, and then with your dominant hand, just start clawing and throwing. And of course, try to do that on both sides. Don't ignore your non-dominant hand. Once you feel a little more confident with those continuous claw catches and throws, you can try to do some back-to-back. -back. You could just do two, claw, claw. Go back to a cascade, get your bearings a little bit, and then try it again. If you do this, you are typically not doing a claw throw, which is completely fine. It's a good exercise and can help you just get comfortable with two claw catches in a row. From there, try to do three in a row. This will probably feel harder because this is where you are doing a claw throw now. From there, you just add more and more. When that feels good, you're pretty much there. Just go for it. Just try to do them all. Keep going. You can always go back to a cascade anytime if you feel like you're going to drop. And that is a continuous claw catch cascade. At some point, you might come across a juggler who asks you, can you do claw catches? They might literally just mean doing a claw catch here and there, but a lot of the time, they're referring to this continuous claw catch, claw throw cascade. So keep an eye out for that. As for troubleshooting, if the ball is going away from you when you throw, it's probably because you're not holding on to it long enough. Keeping that in mind will honestly solve a lot of your problems. When people are trying to do the continuous cascade version, they tend to rush a lot. This ties in with not holding the ball long enough. It can be really hard to control this if you're a beginner, but you really can just slow the pattern down. Hold on to the balls longer, be more intentional with when you're letting go and where you're letting go. A common problem I see is that they don't wait for the ball to go back down. So really try to be patient with it but you don't want to catch it too low either. Wait for it to peak and then fall a little bit before you catch it. And there you have it, a claw catch and a claw throw. It's a bonus. The claw catch is really fun and pretty simple to incorporate into at least the cascade and many other patterns. I really hope this tutorial helped in some way. If you have any questions, anything I didn't cover in the tutorial, feel free to leave them in the comments. Or if you have any suggestions of other tricks you'd like me to cover, let me know. If this tutorial did help you in any way, please help me out by just giving it a quick like. And if you're really interested in juggling and you want to learn more, you can check out my channel. I have a lot of other juggling content as well as tutorials. Maybe you can subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. It's a great crowd, it's a great cl it's a great crowd pleaser. The first way is by just throwing <laughs> ah! the easy.
<laughs> I'm messing this up. Start over.